Hello guys and welcome back to VIP Bay. Uh, as you can see I've done a few changes while you've been away so I have planted the carrots and I've started making a fence around our house or at least encompassing the garden so we try and make ourselves a little bit more protected. Uh, I also went and found a ravine, put some lights up so we're going to go and explore that a little bit. Uh, I do need to make some more food, so let us begin. Okay, so one thing I do need is to get some bread. Uh, there we go, I've got bread, that's good. I need to make some bone meal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and try and make some trees grow. Uh, what I also need, see I did get some iron from down in that ravine. Got a decent amount. I'm going to show you where I got it from because we're going to go back down there today. Um, do, 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 do. We need some sticks so that we can make a new axe. Let's do that now. Let's just grab lots of sticks. And I put the iron away because I'm so like that. Um, so let's grab, I don't want all the iron, so let's just grab a few bits. And an axe, once again, is as so. I get an iron axe. Uh, we also picked up some gold while we're down here, so let's stick that in there as well. In here we've got some zombies hanging around, but they can't get us while we're in here. So we could go out and, well, we, they could get us because of this gap in the fence over there. And we've got some skeletons hiding around. Oh, we've got an enderman over there. Oh dear. Right. What we might do while we wait. Yeah. A nice looking enderman. Lots of skeletons around. Let's very quickly sleep through the night. There we go. Right. Let's go and see what we've got. So we've got lots of things burning, which is what I like to see. Uh, there is a gate here. And what we do with gates is I always put two torches, one either side. So I know where it is for later reference. Just wait for him to burn uh, away. Still got the Enderman hanging around. Would you go away? Thank you. Right. Now what I do want to do as well is I noticed that it feels a bit odd coming down here and we've got just nothing along this edge. So I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. Like so. Oh, hello. Hello, I didn't spot you over there. Can you, can you do me a favor and come away from my house, please? Any more out there? No, you're the only one. One away from my house would be nice. Okay, one more hit. Gotcha. Okay. Right, now let's go and take this bone meal. Actually, on the way, we are going to have something to eat. Let's grab the bone meal. And as you see, I've planted some more trees. Let's see if we can get any of these growing. There we go. Seems to be a bit random as to whether it works or not. We've got plenty of it though, so let's see what we can get. Come on. There go, nice sized tree there. Okay, we're going to have to deal with that, uh, that guy there. Don't you dare blow up on me. Oh, missed. Oh, we nearly went. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Right, let's use the rest of this bone meal and see if we can grow any more of these. Oh, hello, Moo Cow. We are going to need to breed moo cows soon as well. There we go, more tree. 
want as many trees as possible. And to, yeah, no, that's all I can use on that. So let's chop down one tree. I think that will be enough to then finish what we started. Let's just see if we get any more. Any seeds that are going to come out of this? Mm, not overly worried. Hello, Mr. Cow. Yeah, we are going to start. We're going to need to make a. It's not going to be too difficult around here. There's plenty of cows. We are going to make a farm with some cows in it. And my plan for that is to do it possibly on this side. So I'll expand the grass. Over. Ooh. Never give away free arrows. And some more bones. Oh, there's more arrows and stuff over here. I got rid of quite a few in the night, it would appear. Okay. Yeah, so we've got lots of cows, so it'll be very easy to make ourselves a little cow farm, which we're going to do on this side of the house. So right now, what I want to do is just switch to this, and we're going to lay down the path. It should come directly from the front door. There we go. Right, let's finish making off the, making the fence. So we only need a little bit more. So let's put. Uh, where's the wood? There it is. Make the wood, and it's. Around the outside like that. Put another set in as well, just in case. Um, that there, that there. I think actually no, we only need the one. I think five should be enough. Let's go and check. Just got to fill in this gap over here to see. One more. I need one more. What I could do is knock this bit out. Uh, and we'll knock a hole out this side. And we'll put another gate there so that I can get out if I need to. So let's put. Where oh, did I put it away? I did. I think I should have a gate in here. I only need the one. Let's go and put that away. There we go, so straight out the door, across the garden, and there we go, we've got another gate. Again, light either side, so I know that that's the gate. In fact, that one's a bit closer, we'll put that over there. And you, keep your, you keep your garden nice and lit, and it should grow through the night as well as during the day. There we go. Okay, so what I did notice was we've got some carrots grown. So let's grab those and we can replant them. You'll always notice you get more back than what you put in. So you will slowly be able to increase your growing capacity. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go and have a look down in the mine. Now let's put some of this stuff away because we're not going to need it. Uh, I've got plenty of cobble, don't need that much of it. Uh, we're going to take the bucket because we may need to. We're going to go and pick up some lava because I'd like to make a sort of incinerator type thing. Shouldn't need the wood. Um, let's make a few more torches because we are going to go and have a look and see what's actually down there. That was really daft. Let's actually make the torches because that would be sensible. Go, plenty of torches. Ooh, oh, oh. This sword has nearly had it. This sword has nearly had it. Uh, wood. Iron. Let's make sticks. Grab that. And then we'll also make ourselves another iron pick. 
There we go. Put the rest of that away. Oh, I had another sword over there. Well, I've got plenty of swords. That let's leave one behind as a backup. Okay, that should all be fine. I've got 20 arrows. It's all picked up from nasties. So let's go and have a look. I'll show you where we found a ravine. So, over here you'll see there's a well lit up little area. That just looks weird. And we have down here a cave system. You see I've already lit a load of it up. Um, the way that I do it is that I put torches on the right hand side as I go down and then it makes it very easy to follow it on the way out. Now if I put two torches one above the other like that I've already explored down there and as you'll see it doesn't actually go anywhere. So where we want to go is in here. Again, follow the torches on the right unless it shows that I've already been there. Again, nothing in here. Mm. Now, where did you spawn from? <coughs> ah, there's a. Oh, there's an area I didn't explore last time. I will show you where the ravine is first. As you'll see, I've already been through there and. Yeah, there's some iron over there. Oh, that was terrible. Oh dear, this is bad. All right, die. So, that's not the best way of dealing with a skeleton, but let's just dig this out and make it a little bit more. So, down there you'll see there's the ravine. There's nothing further this way, but it does look like I do need to possibly put a torch up here. So let's put one up there. Yeah, that should be fine. As you'll see, there's a ravine down here. One of those there, creeper just there. Okay. Uh, And there's another one down there. So this is what I wanted. I want to get that lava. I've already explored a lot of that lower area. There were no diamonds, which was slightly, you know, disappointing. Uh, let's just grab that for a second. Can I just grab it from in the lava stream? No. I'm going to have to grab it from down the bottom. Right, let's see if I can see where that creep. Oh, he's, he's burnt himself. He's burnt himself. Well, okay, that's not how you deal with a creeper. Just sort of put that out there. Because now I've got to build this back. That's also not how you get down. Uh, let's see. We're going to need that there, that there. Make sure we can get all the way back up. Yes. Okay. Knock that out because that's just getting in the way. I do want to see if I can pick up some of this lava from down here. No. So they've got to find. Oh, that was bad. That was stupid. There's water here though, so that's useful. That was entirely my fault. So I need to find the spawn of that to be able to nick the lava. I don't think I can grab it from anywhere else. Even if I... Oh, get off. Oh, oh, water, water. Oh, that was close. That was way too close. Let's eat. Let's get our health back up. I was just trying to block the lava in and see whether I could make hay. Lava source around here, but I don't think I can. No, and if I block that off, it's likely to spill over onto me, so... 
but I don't think I can actually pick that up. Nope. Let's eat some more. So I need to find the source of that lava. Or I need to find more lava somewhere else. Nothing further over there. Now there are some dark patches down here which I do need to fill in because it's obviously where things can appear. Again, I generally stick to the idea of putting torches on the right hand side for my way in so that I just follow them on the left for my way out. I got that from another adventurer that I have uh, watched on numerous occasions when they have gone searching through these kinds of caves. Now let's see if we can block that off a little bit so that we can navigate around it. Or I just need to literally... Ooh, 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 that's bad. That is very bad. Okay, I'm going to jump over there, get out of your way. Well, he didn't hurt me, but he did take down my torch. Right, so let's rebuild that. The problem with ravines is that obviously they do not work very well when it comes to uh, lighting up because there's a lot of area to light up and it only generally allows you to do it on one side for, my, for the method that I use let's uh, put some blocks down don't think there looks like there's going to be anything else over here but we'll light it up anyway to see what it's about doesn't look like there's anything else that way. That's just going to get in the way, so I'll move it. Okay. So, the problem is that area there, I'm thinking we're still going to possibly get spawns in, so I just want to put a light up there, not there. Just enough that we can still see what we're doing. That's a little area that I dug some coal out from. So, that's the ravine. So what we want to do is we want to go and have a look in that other way that I haven't been yet. I heard a skeleton. Don't know where it is. Let's eat some more food. Uh, oh, there's coal there. There's iron, more iron there. See, I missed some of the iron when I came through here last time. Let's just dig all this out. And again, I'm just going to put a little light in there, stopping them from spawning. So, two next to each other like that, that means that's my way out. So, the way we haven't been yet is down here. That was just nasty. So let's go and have a look down here. So we'll light it up on the side here. Now what I can hear or I'm noticing there seems to be light from somewhere around here. I don't know what's generating light up here at the moment. Oh, I've already put torch there. That's what was generating the light. Uh, I think we are going to need to put torch down here. So I'm going to put it on the ground. Don't generally put them on the ground, which should indicate. There's something on the other side of here. I swear there is. So there's water over here. Again, I could be wrong. I'd say there's, there's a skeleton or something over this way. That could be part of where we're heading. 
So what we'll do, we'll put a couple of lights there. Not going to worry about that too much right now. Get the bow out, just in case. Again, put a light up. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit more cave here still. Oh, it's still going, and I think it seems to have stopped, but let's just break through a couple of walls here. Big straight board. It may even, you see, that sounds like it's right next to me. But I don't seem to be able to see where. Just dig this out a little bit. Let's see if we can find where that noise is coming from. Don't know. Can't find it. Let's put a torch up here to stop anything from spawning. And again, we're just going to dig a little bit this way and see if we see anything this way. Alright, got another pickaxe. Nope. I think that's all fine. Again, drop a torch in. Now, we've explored this whole line here. So, when we get to the junction here, so we've explored all of this, what we're going to do is we're going to put another torch there. Two torches already explored. Which just leaves this ravine, which means I think there's going to be more to this ravine than we're currently seeing. Or at least I hope there is. What I'd like to do, you see there's stuff over there. Let's see if we can. Yep. Let's just make it a double passage so that we can get across there easily. And what I want to do is see what's down there. So we've got okay. We've got a zombie that spawned over there. We've got some iron over this side. He's doing a very good job of climbing that, has to be said. I was hoping to be able to come down here and get some lava, but looks like I may be out of luck. Let's just drop a torch in there. Yeah, that was always going to happen. It's just my luck. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, you fell down? I'm good with you falling down. Alright, let's stick another torch up here. So we're going along the same passage now, but we are going a little higher up. Which means we're going to light up a slightly different area as well. See, that's where I've already been. This is where I am now. Let's block that off so that we can get past. Uh, torch. Shows me I want to get rid of that. Might as well just dig straight through that as well. That's sort of more of a gravelly type stuff there. Now, I remember when I came down this side, I think it was this side, I did find what looked like another passage or a hole. So I do want to see if we can spot where that is, possibly get into that. Okay, so let's drop down here, put some torches up. Yeah, we've got another passage here, so let's just put a torch there and make sure we can get back to where we were. And I would prefer to do it safely. Good, okay, there we go. Nice and easy in and out. Let's have a look and see what's down this passage. 
and it's a dead end. A little bit of coal. So again, move that, put them there. We've already looked through this. So let's put the block there. And continue along our merry way. I want to see what's all the way through and down. As I say, I've already explored this down there, so I want to see what's up here. still see areas down there. Let's just do a quick nip across. Not using bread, that would be daft. Let's see if we can see anything. So we've got a little cave there. I definitely came along that way. Not really seeing anything else of value, but we will just see if we can dig straight through. Don't think we can. Think anything else maybe lower down. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, I think anything else we find will be part of that original cavern. Let's just drop a torch in here and another one there. Make sure that's all lit up. Okay. Not really seeing anything else up here. I am disappointed there were no diamonds down there, so we need to see if we can find ourselves in another cave to go searching through. So that's going to be our next task. Who shot me? Whatever it was, it was a damn good shot. And right, so what I want to do here, again, is put two there. And that tells me that's my way back out. Again, next to each other, that's my way out. Keep the torches on the left. Like so. Except for that little one there, because that one is what I might do is just on my own peace of mind so I know that I'm coming the right way if I do go down here again. Torch to either side reminds me this is definitely the way out. Uses a lot of torches, but it guarantees you will find straight away your exit to home. It's still daylight, so the question is, do we have any other caves we can go and hunt down? So, step one, let's go and see if we've got any more food, because otherwise we are going to starve. Let's try going back out again. Let's drop off whatever we collected, so let's grab the gold in there and put the iron in there instead put the gold away in there bones yeah it's just coal and that okay we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some sorting out of this stuff so let's go for a wander and see if we can find ourselves uh, another cave anywhere. I've got a full grown. Why are you not growing? You there on your own. You haven't grown. Terrible. Got more carrots coming as well. So, first of all, let's go and see if we can find some. We need to find a new cave to go and search through. So, let's go and see what we can find. Expecting there to be a few around. Usually, 
isn't too bad. So we know what's over there because the village is over that way. So let's go and see what's over this way. We are pretty much surrounded by um, desert, it would appear, on our little home. The village is over there, we already explored that, so I'm literally just going to sort of follow the coast a little bit. I know where the coastline is, it's just over there. And see what we can find. No. Ooh. What is this? Okay, so what I want to do, I've got an item of interest just here. Probably we might not be able to see it from the house, but we are going to put. Uh, so, what I do, seeing as I didn't bring any dirt with me, is I'm going to use cobble, which is a pain. And then we're going to put a torch on the top of it there. That tells us there's something here I really want to have a look at. And plus, it helps me getting back. This is going to hurt. Ah! Yeah, okay. Have something to eat, and we will only explore the very front of it because I am concerned. Obviously, that I only have a couple of torches. So let's grab the shovel, get rid of some of this sand. Again, we can use some of this sand as a quick up and down elevator for ourselves. And I'll show you how we do that. Mm. Grab some more sand. And what would, because of the nature of sand when you put it down, it will allow us to just literally get up and down. So grab that, drop it there, and what you'll see is it will fall straight down to the bottom. And that gives us a nice, safe way of dropping down into this area. Of course, I really should have had a look before I did that. Okay, let's put up a couple of torches in here. It sounds like there's some grumpies just around the corner. Ooh, you look like a... What are you? Are you a converted villager? You look like a zombified villager. We've got some iron. Let's grab that. we've got over there. So it's just... Oh, it's two of you. Hello. That water's keeping you at bay for the moment. I'm going to help that along by taking out that and that. And that water should hopefully keep you over there. Don't have a lot of torches, so I don't really want to... Oh, and it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Okay, so... Not a lot down here at the moment. So what again we're going to do is we're just going to stand on this one. Grab our sand and use the elevator back up. That's it. Right, what we do need to do now though is we need to get back home and get into the safe area. So there it is, I can see it, it's lit up. There's a witch right next to me. Run straight past. Hopefully she won't notice. Come on. There's an enderman there. As you can see, just to my right, again, going to try and avoid that. That's not very helpful. There's a skeleton and a creeper. Mm. Ah, run, 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 run. Come on, run up this. I can see my house. We can get there. Oh, that's a skeleton hiding behind the tree. So I'm probably going to get shot at by him. Oh, no, I managed to get past him. So there was a little cave there. I'll probably take down our, my notice for it though, because it wasn't particularly exciting. But we're home. Okay, and I think we've got away from most things. Okay, right. So there we go. Um, ooh. 
These are, I believe, husks. I don't know what they drop, but I am going to get them away from my house. Oh, I don't want you there. Oh, yes, you will blow up. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Because uh, I only just built that. Okay, creepers are a pain. I don't know if I got back all my fences. Need to fill this back in, and I want to do it very, very quickly. Uh, I've got two bits of fence back, so let's just fill the dirt back in. I don't think we've got enough dirt here to do it. We do this line here, which is the most important because that's going to be where our fence is going to go back in. But yeah, I don't have enough. What I might do is just fill that layer there in with sand. And then I will fill that in with dirt in a moment. Ah, let's see what happens. Okay, let's go and put, fill that in with dirt. And I'm going to need to put some more fence in as well. And I lost my gate. Yep, I lost my gate. I think I've still got one in here though. Just going to grab that. So I'm going to need some more fencing again. It's fine. I've got a little bit of wood. Never remember which way around this goes. I think it's that way. Yeah, there we go. That will be enough. That will get all we need. So let's put that away and that away, that away, and let's cook up some more iron. Grab that and that. Yeah, can you just leave me alone just long enough for me to be able to do that right now? You can. Shouldn't have shot at me. Right. That there and that there. I need to light up a lot more of the surrounding area. That is annoying me. I really need to sort this out very quickly. Grab my hoe. Just it's just glaring at me. There we go. And while I'm out here, I might as well pick up some carrots. There we go. And then we'll just plant these again. Get ourselves a decent crop going. Lovely. And yeah, let's start another line as well. Um, I need some more bread, so let's just grab all of these, and we will replant them in there. There we go, lots and lots of wheat, and lots of seeds, so I can replant all this. Yeah, I'm not getting too close to any of you. You stay down there. I do not want to be getting into another fight with you lot. Oh, hello. Just plant it all down and get another full field of wheat would be lovely. Uh, let's grab those. Ah, oh, God's sake, go away. Let's eat some food. 
they're, they're, I've got some really, really quite annoying neighbours. Where have you gone? Can I pick these up? I can't pick them up. That's really, really quite irritating. But I can pick up these ones. Right, now then. Can I finish replanting? Everybody okay with that? Would you stop? Oh! Ooh, I need to go and check the village and make sure that we do okay over there. We will do that mm. in our next episode. Mm. Seeing a lot of villagers, villager looking ones coming over to see me. That does not bode well. Right, let's uh, mm. just do that one as well. I think that's another full mm. field. It is. That's fantastic. Let's go and make some bread, and I think that's where we will end for the day. There we go, we get 21 loaves of bread out of that. Lovely, lots and lots of bread. Loads of seeds now. And seeds we will be using for doing looking after the ducks and things later. Okay, I think that is all we have time for today. So thank you very much guys, and I will see you in the next episode. See you guys later. Bye.